everyone this is Zed with another GTA 5 modding tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make reshade work with 5M on the latest update. You'll notice when opening 5M reshade no longer works. I'm just going to show you how it looks. So I have version 5.30 installed and I'm just going to launch up 5M now to show you the issue. So reshade uh, 5M is open and I'm pressing the reshade hotkey F12 and it's not working. Now I'm going to show you how to fix this. So if we close down this window and if I go to reshade.me, click on download reshade and click on the installer, locate GTA 5.exe. This is not 5M, this is the GTA 5.exe that's located in your Steam apps or Epic Games or Rockstar Games launcher depending on which platform you bought GTA on. Mine is Rockstar Games Launcher. So it's located here. Select the GTA 5.exe, click next. Make sure this one's selected, DirectX 10, 11, 12. And as I have Reshade already installed, it's asking me to modify or uninstall for yourself. If it's your first time installing it, just click install. Uh, select the preset to install. So this is if you have a Reshade preset available to use, you can locate it here. I'm going to skip this step select the effects package to install if it's your first time installing just click on uncheck it uncheck all and then check all again this will install all shaders that reshade has to offer but i'm going to skip this step as i already have them all installed and then click on finish again i'll just show you really quickly when i start 5m as you can see i've installed it reshade and it still will not work So the reason for this, if you open up the 5M console by pressing F8, you'll notice that it says up here, Reshade acknowledge that 5.x has a bug and will lead to game crashes. Note that no support is provided for this and that you should contact the author of Reshade for assistance. I'm going to show you a workaround. So in order to do this, we need to copy the Reshade 5 ID and this value here. Your value is different, so I will leave a document attached to this video, a download link, with this text, which I have here. This is the file that you need. All you need to do is change this value to yours. So in my instance, it's E63, E1793. So I'm going to change that now. E63 E1793. Okay, this file will be in the description as a download link. Just go ahead and download it if you don't want to copy all of this manually. So once you have the ID changed, just copy all of this and you need to locate the citizenfx.ini. Now that is located in your 5M application data. To get there, just first of all, let's close down reshape uh, 5M as it needs to be closed and press the start key and type in 5M, right click, open file location, right click this shortcut, open file location, and then 5M application data. Now that we're inside the 5M application data folder, scroll down until you find citizenfx.ini, just double click it, and you'll now have this all you need to do is copy the file that I've added in the description with your ID into the citizenfx.ini just here. Make sure that the ID is yours, which it is. This is mine. Save it. Close this down or minimize it. And now launch 5M. You should see a download right after you've launched it. And then once it's launched, you should see at the top, Reshade 5.3 as is now working. And if I press F12, it works. If you have any questions, join my Discord. The Discord link is in the description. And I'll also leave the file link in the description. All credits go to a user called Benix. And I will give his credits in the description as he found this fix. 
Thanks for watching, and if you want future Grand Theft Auto 5 modding tutorials, make sure to subscribe and like this video if it helped. Peace.